Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there is a residential colony which has houses built in five rows, R1 to R5. The number of houses in each row is a distinct number, and these houses are numbered. <coughs> and the person randomly chose a row <coughs> and started numbering the houses from left end to right end in a random way. Using consecutive numbers, and then after numbering the rightmost house, he chose another row randomly and started numbering houses from left end to right end of the row using consecutive numbers, such that the number used to number the leftmost number. So this condition is important to understand. Of the new row is the succeeding number to the number that he used to number the rightmost house of the preceding row. Now what does it mean is Let us say the numbers of a house are one, two, three, four, five, six. So he will choose another row. He will start numbering from seven, eight, nine. Suppose there are three houses. Then next row he will put as ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Next he will number fourteen, fifteen like this. This number is the next number of the next number goes to the leftmost of the next row. Okay, and all he is doing is a random way. He is choosing the rows randomly. It is not necessary that they are in the consecutive rows. Okay. So now we are given certain conditions, and based on it, we need to find out that which house is in which row. What are the numbers used? So let us put these row numbers: R one, R two, R three, R four, and R five. One of the conditions is given that. the uh, the number assigned to the rightmost house of r1 is 26 so the last house is 26 we do not know how many houses are there okay then we are given one information that sum of numbers assigned to houses in r2 is 96 okay so let us say there is one house then it has to be 96 okay uh, maybe we might have house number 96 who knows okay but if we see that the sum of numbers assigned to the leftmost houses of all the rows is 134 so these 5 add to 134 and these 5 add to 144 by looking at these numbers we can say that 96 cannot be the number right because 96 like if it is the number then we should have 95 also so we should have some numbers high numbers and then some will definitely exceed these numbers so we cannot have one house if we have two houses we cannot get two consecutive numbers whose sum is 96 because if you take 48 and 49 the sum will be 97 if you take 47 48 the sum is 95 we cannot get an even number so two houses are not possible three houses the central house number will be 32 divide by 3 so average gives the central number so 31 32 33 looks possible because 26 is one of the house numbers so very likely that this could be a house number so r2 has 31 32 33 <coughs> and it has three houses now an important thing is the number of houses in no two adjacent rows is consecutive so that is fine these two statements are the ones that one needs to understand in order to solve this problem now try to understand this carefully <clears throat> let us say the leftmost house number in first row is a <clears throat> and then houses will be a plus 1 a plus 2 and so on till a plus p okay so how many houses are there we have 1 2 3 4 and so on P plus one houses, like one house, two house, three house. So P plus one is the number of houses. Suppose second row starts from B. B plus one, B plus two, and so on till B plus Q houses. So the number of houses will be Q plus one. Suppose the third row starts from C, C plus one, C plus two, and so on till C plus Q houses. 
sorry r let us take separate variables r plus 1 houses in this row okay similarly fourth row d2 d plus s number of houses will be s plus 1 e to e plus t the number of houses will be t plus 1 okay now these are the leftmost numbers these are the rightmost numbers leftmost numbers are a plus b plus c plus d plus e which is given as 134 okay so if you calculate the rightmost numbers this will be a to e plus b to t okay a to e is 134 so this means p to t is 10 Okay, so P Q R S T is ten. Now, if you see the total number of houses, it will be P two T plus one two three four five. So P two T is ten, and we have five more. That is, we will have fifteen houses. So the answer is fifteen. Okay, so the last number will be. Uh, like if there are p plus one houses, the last number will be a plus p. Similarly, if there are q plus one houses, the last number is b plus q. So basically, the last number is suppose there are x houses, x minus one more than this. And since we have five rows, we will add five to it, and we will get fifteen houses. Okay, so we have fifteen houses. Now, if you read the very first line, it says number of houses in each row is a distinct number. So this number has to be one, two, three, four, five. So one of the rows will have one house, two house, three house, and so on. Okay. Now, next thing that we need to determine is what are the house numbers. Okay. Now twenty six is one of the house numbers. Thirty one is the starting of another house number. So we need to assign four houses. Either we can have one plus three, we can have two plus two, or four houses in a row. Two plus two is not possible because each row has a distinct number of house. One plus three is also not possible because this row already has three houses. So that means there is a row with four houses, and those four houses are. Twenty-seven to thirty. Okay, so this is determined. Now we have to have three kinds of rows. One row will have one house, another row will have two houses, and another row will have five houses. Okay. Now another thing that we will use this is the. Sum of leftmost and rightmost that is given to us. So sum of the rightmost houses is one forty four. One of these numbers is twenty six. Another number is thirty, and another number is thirty three. Adding them, we get eighty nine. So we have two more rows left. Let us say that rightmost number is x and y, where x is less than y. Okay. So. Plus x plus y is one forty four. This means x plus y is fifty five. So we should get a sum of fifty five from two numbers which are on the rightmost house. Now, since y is greater than x, y should be minimum twenty eight. Twenty eight. So let us start checking. Twenty eight is not possible because used here. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three is not possible. so minimum we can take is 34 if there is one house we can have 34 okay and this will be 21 we can also have 35 we can have two houses in one of the rows like 34 and 35 not to go with this that this is r3 just writing that 34 35 could be the row with because we have 1 2 and 5 left okay so we can have like a row with two houses 34 and 35 so this number comes 20 we can have a row with five houses and now that house because three is already used four is already used 
we can use 1 2 or 5 so if we use 1 we will get 34 as the number if we use 2 if we use 5 houses then 33 plus 5 38 38 and this will be 17 okay so total is 55 let us take the cases let us say we have a house with uh, a row with five houses and this is 34 35 okay one of the rows is 27 28 29 30 okay so one of the rows is ending in 17 <clears throat> if this ends in 17 this should start with 18 now 18 to 26 we have nine houses but that is not possible because the number of houses is 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. So this case gets eliminated. Okay. Next case let us take that these houses are 34, 35 which has two houses. If we take 35 this house number should end in 20. This will begin from 21 to 26. Okay. So when it is 21 to 26 we have six houses. Again, not possible because the number of houses in a row is, it cannot be more than 5. So, the only possibility is we have 34 as one of the houses and this will be ending in 21. So, this begins from 21 to 26, 22 to 26 because 21 is ending here in one of the rows, 23, 24, 25, 26. So, we have five houses in this row okay five houses in this row now we have these rows like four rows uh, four houses these one row with th house number 34 and there is a row with two houses and those numbers will be rightmost is 21 so it will be 20 comma 21 okay now we need to fit in these rows we will use the last condition. It says the number of houses in no two adjacent rows is consecutive. So we have to put 1, 2, 4. 1 and 2 cannot come consecutive. So 1 and 2 will come here. Okay. Now this is 3. We cannot have 2. This should have 1 house. This should have 2 houses. So 1 house is 34. 2 houses, 20 and 21. And 4 houses, 27, 28, 29 and 30. Okay, so these are the house numbers. So uh, now we can answer the remaining questions. From which number did he start numbering the houses? So he started from 20. How many houses are there in R4? R4 has 4 houses. What is the sum of the houses, house numbers of R5? R5 it is 20 plus 21 which is 41. House number 34 is in which row? House number 34 is in R3. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.